Hello and welcome. This video will explain how to use the various functions and reports within the Nestoranko Software Course Request Tally Sectioning Assistant application. This application is used by the Staffing Sectioning Group, typically during March-April when course requests are being analyzed and section allocation decisions are being made. Data comes from the Course Request Tally Report. The data is extracted and imported regularly as course requests change, courses are canceled, students are recounseled, etc. throughout the process so that up-to-date data is being analyzed. It's assumed that you have already launched the application, then extracted and imported your school's course request tally data. This was covered in previous videos. Now let's work through the typical process. The course requests and sections report is the most commonly used report. It lists courses and requests sorted by department. The class size maximum table is used to determine estimated sections for each course. Move to the final page of the report. It's good practice after importing new data to check to see that the overall total requests matches the final total on the course request tally report. This ensures that the extraction and import process was done correctly and that all course requests appear in these reports. The course request department summary report provides a nice one-page snapshot. The next step is to allocate sections. Open the Allocate Sections form. Here we could work through each course and allocate sections and possibly enter a comment. The estimated sections value provides a good guide. Analysis symbols and flags begin to appear. You could allocate all sections manually like this, but it's likely that you'll use the special function to allocate the estimated sections to each course. This special function can only be used when all sections are zero, in order to avoid an inadvertent overwrite of your work later. Click the button to activate the function. Here we have 214 sections allocated. This provides a great starting point to the process. If the special function to allocate the estimated sections was used, you would then go back and possibly add comments and adjust some of the allocations. Throughout the process, you will return to this form often to make changes as the staffing group makes decisions. It's very important to extract and re-import course request tally report data regularly. Now that sections have been allocated, let's look at the requests and sections report again. Here we see labels on the various columns. Requests, sections, max size, average size, available seats, also some plus and minus flags. They're handy when looking for relatively large or relatively small classes. Overall requests and sections allocated as well as FTE are shown on the last page. Now the one page department summary report becomes very interesting and very useful. Sometimes we have to create a combined course. Let's combine ADA 3M1 which has 22 requests and ADA 301 which has 9 requests. Open the combined courses form. Make up your own combined class code. Some boards use a 1 as the first character. Select the course code from the drop-down. Then on the next line, select the class code from the drop-down and another course code. This shows the combined class created. Now re-import the course request tally report data for this combined class to take effect in reports. Here we see on the requests and sections report that the two courses are shown as one class and the requests are totaled. As mentioned, you will routinely return to the Allocate Sections form to make changes. It is a good idea to have the application running on a laptop during sectioning meetings. As changes are made, you then get immediate feedback and analysis. And of course, you can keep an eye on that overall section allocation total as you work towards matching the school board allocation. Just a note here that it usually works best to allocate all co-op sections to the two-credit co-op course code. Sections can be allocated to courses which appear in the report, but sometimes it is necessary to allocate sections to items that are not shown in the report because there are no requests. Suppose we don't have any requests for GLD 201, but we know we will have one section of GLD 201. Here we add the course code so that we will later be able to add a section to it. As well, we can add some placeholders for admin, guidance, SST, etc. The course code for non-class placeholders should have a number sign as the first character to override class max calculations. Create your own department names for these placeholders. A first character asterisk will sort them to the beginning of reports. And re-import after creating placeholders. Here is what the placeholders look like in the requests and sections report. Now allocate sections to these placeholders. These placeholders and sections will allow us to match the school board allocation exactly and show the same allocation line items. Again, here's the requests and sections report with placeholders and sections allocated, and the department summary report. 
On the Initialize Values tab, you can edit the class size maximum tables, but they are usually pre-configured for your school board when you receive the application. There's a class maximum table and special class maximum table for tech and limited facility, etc. The Other Reports tab has two very useful reports. At the beginning of the process, usually before any sections have been allocated, this Requests and Sections by Department report can be printed and given to department heads for consultation and feedback. And at the end of the process, when section allocation is finalized, this Must-Haves report by department can be printed and given to department heads. Heads can communicate any must-haves or special information for the timetable on this report. Semester, teacher, room, etc. The rest of these other reports are rarely used. And the various reports on the Miscellaneous Analysis Reports tab might be interesting to some, but are not necessary. The Submitting tab has a function which will create an RTF document of the Requests and Sections report. This is also probably unnecessary. The Help tab has a few useful items. Instructions to create the Course Request Tally CSV file from the Course Request Tally report. If you've received an extension code, it is entered here. And documentation can be found within the application and at nestorankosoftware.com. At this point, you would be ready to begin timetabling. The reports from this application provide the necessary information to build the course sections. The Timetable Master Schedule Assistant application is invaluable during the timetabling process. It provides many reports, including the Master Schedule report, which displays the Master Schedule in an easy-to-read, two-dimensional visual grid on one page. And there's more information and other videos at the website, www.nestorankosoftware.com. Good luck with the process.